Okay, we are at the peak of the uh, Bromo volcano or Bromo mountain, and Bromo is one of the uh, parasitic mountain within the caldera of Tengger, and this is very active uh, mountain, and you can see that the crater over here still keeping up uh, spewing uh, all of those uh, fog and vomits, and then. Uh, only in the last year that we have also very active of this Bromo volcano and creating some kind of a quote unquote disaster around the five kilometers area of the uh, surrounding this caldera. The, the Tengger caldera itself, as you can see, are around this area here. and the diameter is about five kilometers apart, which is uh, north south. But it's elongated, sort of uh, uh, eight kilometers toward the east-west there. And the caldera of Tengger itself is, uh, can be traced back to about uh, 850,000 years ago, when all the volcanic activity by subduction from the southern part of the this uh, subduction of the uh, Hindia Ocean into the into this uh, microcontinent of Australia, which is creating the, the uh, East Java uh, terrain. And they create some kind of a volcanism along the volcanic belt, including this, uh, uh, what we call as a Tengger Caldera. And you can imagine that the, the, the big uh, volcano during that time is very, very high there, and at least about 800 meters above this peak. And on the surrounding area there, you have the remnant of this, uh, the body of the, what we call as the caldera of Tengger. So during that time, there's a very catastrophic event, which creating a super volcano, and they are all spewing out all of those uh, material, and they're creating a huge uh, season over here. And they are all pure volcano. And after that, we have a secondary activity of the volcano within the caldera. The Bromo here can be traced back to 150,000 years ago when it started to be active within the caldera. And if you see, this kind of uh, volcano here, which is the parasitic volcano within the caldera itself, is a kind of a uh, uh, stratovolcano. And you can see from the distance, the layering of the stratification there, it means that uh, you have a layering of uh, viscous lava with uh, less viscous lava with creating pyroclastic so it's a uh, uh, it's a kind of uh, stratification in that so, and, and the type of the the type of the volcanic era a volcanic eruption here is a uh, strombolian which is a huge uh, volcanic uh, eruption up to maybe two or three kilometers to the atmosphere and the sedimentological feature related to the sea sand there, you can see that from the distance, the, this area here becoming, you know, all the sea sand here is being modified by this wind activity and creating the sand dunes all over the place, especially close to the source of the, of the sand within the Bromo Volcano. See that? That's uh, the sea sand there with a lot of dunes, yeah? and barchan dunes and all the things like that. 